Hey guys, Liam here. This is our first video on the Agonising Broadcast channel. Um, it's a, going to be how to set up a Minecraft modding workspace. So in these following tutorials I'm going to teach you how to make mods for Minecraft. And to do this we're going to need to download MCP, Mod Loader, Scott Tools API and the Eclipse IDE. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is download MCP. The links will all be in the description. See here, download. Before you download this, you're going to have to read the prerequisites because I'm not going to ink a tutorial on that how to install the JDK um, so download MCP I've already got mine downloaded but I'll download it again now you're going to want to start up Minecraft Go to your uh, dot minecraft folder. Delete anything you don't need. I'll be right back. My computer runs slow when I start up minecraft. Be right back. Okay, so MCP has downloaded. Just create a file and drag this into it. Like so. Now go into your Minecraft. Back up your dark Minecraft if you have any mods installed that you want to keep. Force the update. Login. Let it get all its files. And go download mod loader. We will be using um, audio mod, but that only needs to be installed to someone's Minecraft. We don't need to install it to MCP. So go and download Minecraft. Quit out of Minecraft. And download the Scott Tools API. We're using this so that we can make m tools that are compatible with other mods. The oh, these have been updated now. It's about time actually. Okay, just download the top one. We don't need an SMP because we won't be making mods for multiplayer. So go ahead and download that. You dot Minecraft. I've removed all the files I don't need. I've updated Minecraft. Open up Minecraft with WinRAR. And drag and drop all the files from Mod Loader 
into our minecraft.jar also delete the meta in folder that will give us a black screen so go ahead and download Scott tools drag and drop the files into the minecraft.jar again and exit out of the minecraft.jar then you need to go ahead and download Eclipse Eclipse Classic Indigo Eclipse Classic Windows Download the one that corresponds to your operating system If you don't know if you have 32-bit or 64-bit go to your go to start computer properties and it'll say right here system type 32 bit operating system so download form that corresponds to you the links will be in the description to these sites um, okay now that you've installed that copy the bin and resources folder go to your MCP folder go into jars paste it in here Now when those are copies, go back, run the decompile batch file. Wait for this to work. You should get one error from Mod Luda. Two out of two hunks failed. It's normal. It doesn't change anything. Just going to let this do this. See, hunk failed, saving rejects. That's absolutely normal. Just waiting for this to finish, and because we're not making mods for multiplayer, we haven't placed a Minecraft server jar in the jars folder. Okay, now that's finished. Press any key, to continue, minimize everything. When you've downloaded and installed Eclipse. Sorry if you can hear anyone in the background. Okay, file, switch workspace. And go to the fo MCP folder and click on Eclipse. Click OK. OK let it restart now there's something else I've downloaded which we will need not 
soon but later a program called Techni allows you to model mobs for Minecraft. It will tell you can use Turbo Model Thingy which makes it able to use spheres and horns spikes in the game and you just make your mobs using that okay now that this is set up client source net dot minecraft dot source and now you've got all the source code that's all for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial we'll be creating a basic mod underscore file and a new block. I'll see you then.